Greetings once again, stencilers. It's me, Stephanie, and today we have some fun and fast projects for you. I know we kind of talked a little bit about supplies and how to get going with stenciling, and this is gonna be one of our first big projects that I know a lot of you guys want to learn how to do, and that's stenciling on fabric. In the world of fabric, there's a bunch of different textiles out there, so instead of showing you every single thing, I kind of picked the three top most popular stenciling projects, and the first one we're gonna talk about is stenciling on t-shirts. 100% cotton, and we're just gonna take an old t-shirt of mine and totally jazz it up and make it really fun. And then the next one we're gonna talk about is burlap. Wow, burlap is so hot right now, and I just can't wait to get started. And actually, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a surprise for you, and I'm not gonna exactly tell you what kind of burlap project we're doing. It's a little bit of a surprise, and maybe there's a guest star, I don't know. And then the third and final one, we're going to be working with a really rough natural fiber. We're gonna be making a doormat, custom to however you want to invite people into your home. I have a fun chevron pattern we're gonna do that's just really modern, bright, and inviting. So I can't wait to get started and let's start going with our fabric projects. Let's dive right in and I'm going to stencil on this beautiful but plain t-shirt. And as you guys can tell, I kinda like that turquoisey minty green color if you can't tell by now. So I think it'd be really cute as a little workout top and I happen to find these beautiful stencils that one has a really cute retro rocket ship and then I was looking through my other packs and I found these really awesome starbursts that kind of remind me of that 60s space era that was really popular and this just goes to show you that just because you have stencils in two completely different worlds and packs and, and manufacturers, you can still combine them and make them really fun. Next up, I have some fun colors. I, I go in again with this whole retro vibe. I have some metallic silver paint, and then I have our, our black and white fabric paint. And of course, we have our stencil brushes. And then we have our disposable painter's palette here. All we need to do to get started is we just need to pop some spare cardboard right in between our shirts. And that way, we aren't even gonna worry about any of the paint seeping through. And when it's drying, we're just gonna leave it there. You know, it's just, it makes things way easier. So once we have our cardboard in, I'm just gonna tape down any loose material that we don't need. And this looks pretty flat and it's kinda tight. I don't wanna do it too tight because I don't wanna stretch out my shirt. That's not gonna be cute. So I do make sure that it has a little bit of give in it, that it's not, completely getting rid of our beautiful t-shirt shape. So I was kind of messing around with the style in which I wanted to do here. And now as you see, I'm going to just tape it down. So I think some white stars would be pretty cool with this turquoisey material color we got going on. And notice that I am taking off so much paint that I just put on. I want to have as little as possible because with stenciling you can always add more but it's really hard to take away. And then I'm just going to start pouncing. Do you guys see how light that I'm going with this? this is, you know stenciling is not about having a heavy hand uh, because if we do that we are going to get uneven paint and we're also going to get paint below and going inside of our little markers there. You know we don't want any bleed out or anything like that. So the less paint, the better. If you're not sure where to focus your energy, I would always say the very tips of your stencil because that's really gonna seal the deal on the shape. So I'm adding extra paint to the edges. Once you start to get a little bit of paint on your stencil when you're almost done, you're gonna really notice, okay, you know, that star needs a little bit more, or over here we need to focus some more information. Okay, so I've kind of completed what I think is gonna look really nice and really good. Um, so I just let it sit there for maybe about 30 seconds just to make sure that the, that the paint gets a little bit tacky for when I remove it. It's the, you know, if it slides a little bit, it's not going to affect anything. So I'm just gonna carefully go with it. I really like that. It looks really clean, fresh, and it has that total 60s vibe. I'm actually going to do probably another set on the bottom here. Um, you know, just, just to kind of even out the design a little bit. I'm going to move my stars in a different pattern. 
and it's gonna be like really, really awesome when it's done. So I'm gonna continue working on this. You continue working on your first layer, and we'll meet you back in a little bit. Okay, so this is kind of the design that I came up with. As you can see, I had a little bit of a, a little accident right there. I wasn't really paying too much attention to my other star, and I should have. But that's okay, because I have this in mind, a cute little 60s-like rocket ship that will look just so cute blasting off on my t-shirt. Of course, we got to tape down our design. If your first layer is dry, then you're welcome to put paint. You're welcome to put the tape over the paint. If not, try to avoid it or just wait for that second layer to dry. What a fun color combination of silver, white, and then this turquoise is blue. And of course, I'm using a different stencil brush. You know, you're welcome to wash off that other one that we just used for our white, but I'm just using another one, whatever works for you. And you know what? If you happen to get a little bit of paint on your shirt and you don't want it there, here's a little tip for you. You can just take a baby wipe and just scrub it on that little tiny bleed or tiny little bit of paint that you want off of your stencil that has not completely dried yet and it's just going to wipe that away really really quickly but of course you need to do that uh, as soon as you see that you made a tiny boo-boo so your paint doesn't have time to dry okay so i think i got my spaceship where i want it and i let it sit for just a few seconds to kind of make sure that everything is going to come out beautifully Slowly peeling it off. It's so fun, fresh, but you know what else? I was thinking I want to add a little bit more pop to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a second and then I'm going to show you how to stencil over seam lines. Welcome back. As you guys can see here, I switched around what we're going to be stenciling on next. And all I did is I put cardboard into a sleeve of a shirt. You can see the seam right here. But we're not going to let that bother us when we're working with stenciling. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to stencil right over it. So my little plan that I was thinking would be really cool on this shirt to add it a little bit more personality is to have stars coming up from the shoulder down and the meeting at the waist on the opposite side. I thought that'd be kind of a fun little element. So I'm just gonna position my stars kind of cascading down on the shoulder. Don't let those corners and seam edges scare you. You can stencil them easily in fact, I think it's a lot easier to stencil than it is to do something like screen print on the edges. And I'll tell you why. Because screen printing, it uses a machine and doesn't get in the grooves. It's not designed for that. It's just designed to lay flat on a surface. But with stenciling, we have a little bit more control and we can get in those seams and make it look like this print was always on our fabric, almost designed that way. And what you can do is you can actually take a painting brush, you know, a small little uh, regular brush, not a stenciling brush, and you can go in there and just detail that seam, if that's something you choose to do, of course. You guys may have noticed that I'm almost always holding my stencil, even though I do have it taped down. That's just something that makes me feel more secure. It's totally optional, but I like to do it just for extra security. Ta-da! So as you guys can see, I got a little bit of paint right here. I'm just gonna use our baby wipe trick. And see I'm softly dabbing it, rubbing it just a little bit. 
This only really works for slight paint, paints mistakes. Just a little dust on there, it'll be fine. You can't even tell. But that's something that I wanted to throw out there for you. And I'm ready for my next set of stars. Hopefully you guys know by now just how easy it is to stencil. And you guys will know that this is great for kids' parties. I would love to see what you guys create some awesome t-shirt stencils and of course I'd love for you to share them with me and you can always contact me in the links provided. Ta-da! keep saying that after everything I do because I'm amazed that I made stenciling happen. Um, so again I'm just going in here cleaning up my edges with my baby wipe. So I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll show you the completed project. So let's go over what we learned today. The first thing that we learned was our awesome graphic out of this world space shirt. So fun. What I did is I just taped our beautiful stencil here on our doormat. And here's a trick for you. I'm actually using a wall stencil on this because the bigger that the stencils are, it's going to be easier to work with with this material.